YouTube friends and welcome back to the Weekly Lab Vlogs. So today we're doing something that we haven't done in a very long time. I'm going to prepare some media. That's how I'm starting off the week. It's actually Tuesday today and yes, I need to run some bioassays today because I've been writing up over the last two weeks. I've actually been very, very sick. I will tell you a bit more about that later. And as I've been writing my thesis, I've actually found that there's some gaps with experiments, so some things that I need to do to like fill in the gaps and have a more cohesive story of my thesis. So that's what I'm trying to do this week for my second chapter and my fourth chapter. There's some bits that are missing, so I'm going to run some more bioassays to get the data to fill in those gaps to try and finish off those two chapters, which will be amazing if I manage to get them finished over the next month. Hi guys, my colleague Julius came in as I was recording that first little segment, so I will tune in with you later on. Um, I have prepared the media, it's in the autoclave over there. I'm now preparing some tips and then I'm going to go to the library, so I'll have a chat later. It's not a good time just now, Julius is preparing his media, he's just nipped out. Speak later on. Hello, hello. I have my box of things that I autoclaved this morning. They need to go into the dryer uh, because I need them tomorrow and they cannot have condensation. And then I'm going to plate up some bacteria that I need for the bioassay this week. My plans have actually changed and I'm not going to be running as many samples for the bioassay as I thought, as the bacteria have been acting up a little bit recently. So I need to make sure they're okay for the real samples next week so I don't waste any of the samples. So I'm kind of splitting my work in half. I'm doing half of the bioassay this week and half of the bioassay next week which means that I have a little bit less lab work to do but it's a little bit annoying because it would have been good to just bash it all out all in one week but it is fine. Hello friends, quick update because I feel like when I updated you earlier on I was all over the place. So what have I done today? I planned my week, I made a presentation for our group meeting on Friday so it's just our lab group meeting. I'm presenting and I decided that I did not want to do a traditional you know journal club paper or present my research findings because I feel like everyone has heard about my research one million times by now. So I decided to put together a presentation called How to Survive Your PhD. It's not actually going to be so dark, but it's going to be a presentation sharing my tips that I've learnt over my years as a PhD student and some mistakes I have made and some realisations I have made now that I am nearing the end of my PhD. So I'm hoping that's going to be useful for my lab colleagues. I prepared everything this morning to autoclave for the bioassay this week. I tried to explain earlier that I'm actually going to do some of the experiments this week and some of the experiments next week because I kind of need to try if my bacteria are cooperating because they've been a bit weird recently so I think I need to update my stocks that I keep in the freezer so I'm going to do that also not tomorrow but the next day and what else did I do? Ah, I needed some mass spectrometry data, which was on a computer here. So I realised that as I was writing my thesis last week, that I was missing some data, so I had to retrieve that. So I thought while I'm in the lab today, I might as well do that also. So yeah, it's been a day of kind of doing bits and bobs, really. It's been a bit of a strange one, but it's been productive and it's been fine. Now to end the day, I'm going to make bacterial plates for tomorrow and then I'm going to go home. One piece of advice that I can give you based on my couple of last weeks of writing is start writing early because I have realised so much, sorry there's a loud noise from the freezer, I have realised from writing up my results that there are some bits that are just missing experiment wise and because I haven't left myself too little time to write my thesis it means that I've got time to come back into the lab, do those experiments, get the data that I need that I'm missing for my thesis and yeah I'm so happy that I started writing early because I'm spotting so many little things that I haven't done which I need to do. Anyway, I'm going to prepare those bacterial plates and then I'm going home, so I'll speak to you tomorrow. friends and happy Tuesday. Today is another hybrid kind of day so I'm going into the lab because I prepared those bacterial plates yesterday so we're going to check if they grew and I need to take them out of the incubator. I also need to take some stuff that I was drying that I put in the autoclave yesterday. Uh, I need to take that out of the incubator because they were drying overnight and then we're going to the library. We're going to continue writing. have the plan this week, well have a goal this week to try and finish the introduction of one of my chapters so we shall see how that goes. But yeah another hybrid day. I 
will be going back to the lab later in the afternoon. Also need to collect some seawater. Also need to collect a key because I'm going to be coming into the lab on Saturday. Meh. But gotta do what you gotta do. Yeah, so I have bits and bobs to do, but the morning is mainly going to be put aside for writing purposes. I could not spit that out just now. Oh, walking and talking is difficult. But yeah, it's a lovely day here. I'm gonna try and be positive vibes only today. Well, I'm usually quite good at doing that, but I'm gonna try harder than usual, I guess. Actually, that's a lie. I'm not good at being positive vibes only. <laughs> Only, only sometimes. Anyway, we're almost at the chemistry building, so I'm going to go inside. Also, the campus is lovely and lively now because this is the first week back for undergraduate and I think postgraduate students also. So there's lots of activity and lots of people going about and it's very nice considering the corona times when there's been hardly anyone around. So yeah, it's nice to see some activity on campus again. Anyway, I'm rambling. I'm going in. Let's go check on the bacteria. Got my bacterial plates. They've grown nicely. We're going to put them in the cold room so they don't grow any further, and then I will use them in the afternoon. Woohoo! I have acquired the key that I need for the weekend to enter biological sciences, and I have acquired the seawater which I need to make my samples for tomorrow. So now we go back... Oh, very noisy greenhouse. Now we go back to chemistry. We have acquired a new lab, which I'm going to utilise to have peace and quiet to prepare some samples for tomorrow. So it's still a work in progress moving things over here, but I'm going to use one of these benches and I'm going to prepare my samples. And it's nice and quiet, I can play my music, I can listen to a podcast, and I have space, which I do not have on my current bench. As you have seen many times, it is covered in flasks, vials. Oh, it's just a mess. So before going to collect the seawater and the key, I was actually in the library trying to write. And I managed to do 500 words, but oh, it took me a long time. It took me a long time because I'm not feeling very creative today. So what I did write, I don't think is very good, to be honest. But oh, it's better than nothing, I guess. Dr. Emmanuel's hard at work. Oh yeah, <laughs> yeah, thank you. Do you want to say hello? Hello everyone. Dr. Emmanuel is back, back. after three years. After three years. Yes. From Africa. Africa, yeah. Botswana. Botswana. Down south of you're Africa. A, you're a lecturer. Yeah, lecturer, yeah. yeah. Um, working in uh, DDT College of Medicine. Yeah. Uh, Department of Pharmacy. Yeah, and now and, uh, you're back, postdoc, back, postdoc for the yeah. NBC, NBC. <laughs> doing Coop Chan fractionation. Yeah, very good. That's what we're doing at the moment. <laughs> Thank you, everyone. <laughs> which is later than I would like to have been in the lab this morning. However, I had a fight with a spider this morning. My stress levels are already very high starting the day because I hate spiders. I hate them. Honestly, they're one of the things that I'm scared of the most. When I walk into the lab, what is the first thing that I see when I come in the door? A huge spider. So they're following me everywhere. It is the season just now in Scotland for like very big spiders. I'll insert a video here of the spider this morning and then I'll show a picture of the spider that I saw in the lab. But anyway, we're here now. I'm trying to relax. My heart rate is probably still through the roof. But let's check the cultures that I put in the incubator yesterday and then we need to plan the plate layouts for the bioassay today. I am very happy with those cultures. So now I need to plan the bioassay and then we can get started. 
Hello friends, it is later in the day now, it's actually one o'clock and I spent the morning plating up the bioassays, I put them in the incubator but now I'm tired, I'm at home now as you can see and yeah, when I'm concentrating in the clean bench and I'm putting all of the samples into the wells in the 96 well plates I just get so drained, like my brain, because I'm focusing so hard, just goes numb. So I'm going to take a break for a little while now. I just ate some lunch. I'm going to chill for a little bit and hopefully we manage to regain that mental space so I can try and tackle some writing this afternoon. I will keep you updated on how that goes. So while I'm having my little break and I am chilling out, I have decided to continue editing my vlog for this week. And guys, I have downloaded Final Cut Pro, well, the trial of Final Cut Pro, which is a video editing software for Mac. And if you didn't know, I actually usually edit all of my videos on my iPad on iMovie and it takes me quite a long time because it's not very good, I'll say that. So yeah, I'm very excited. Hopefully the videos are just going to get better from here on out. This isn't even my MacBook. This is my boyfriend's MacBook because my MacBook is so old and I don't even use it anymore. So I'm very grateful that he let me make a profile and yes. <laughs> I'm so excited to be editing. It feels like Christmas using this new software and this MacBook. I'm so excited. Hello guys. I need to get to sleep earlier tonight because I am feeling super tired today. I ended up editing all of my YouTube video to post tonight. And then I was working on a presentation that I'm doing at our lab group meeting tomorrow. So the title of my presentation is how to survive your PhD. It's a lighthearted presentation, just kind of sharing some tips that I've learned during my PhD. So hopefully it can help my lab colleagues. I posted it on Instagram on my stories and a few people had asked if I could share it on my YouTube at some point. So I might do that, even though some of the tips are quite specific for like my lab, but I'll probably do that at some point. And yeah, now it's 4.30 and I'm honestly exhausted. I'm considering not working anymore, but I do have a lot of things to do and I didn't do any writing today, but tomorrow is going to be a writing day. I find that if I'm in the lab and then I have something else to do and then I try to focus on writing, it's so difficult to like switch my brain between these different tasks. So hopefully tomorrow will be productive in terms of my writing. I'm going to be at home tomorrow to write. So I'm going to drop off my dog in the morning to his like dog sitter and I'm going to come back and we're going to focus on writing. So I'll see you guys tomorrow. Good morning friends and happy Friday. So I've just sat down to start working on my, well one of my chapters for my thesis because I'm at home for the majority of the day and then I'm going to group meeting later on. And I just got a very exciting email from ResearchGate which I want to show you. So the exciting email is that my paper has had its first citation, which I'm so excited about. So this paper in Frontiers in Marine Science was just published, I think, yesterday. And they have da -da 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 -da, cited my paper. But yes, I am so excited. What a nice way to start my Friday. My paper has its first citation. Yee! So today we are working on chapter four, uh, which is a chapter about the compounds that I've isolated during my project. And we are starting with 2,727 words. And it is... 936. So let's see how far we managed to get maybe over the course of the day. Hello friends. It is almost 1pm so time for lunch soon and I have written just under 1000 words. So we're now at 3650 words. So my introduction is basically finished I would say. I might add in bits and bobs later on once I speak to my supervisor on Monday but I'm relatively happy with our progress for this morning. I'm going to chill for a little bit and then I'm going to work on my presentation for group meeting this evening, plan some uh, questions that I need to ask for two meetings that I have on Monday and then we're going to go to group meeting and then the day will be finished. Hello friends, I am ending the vlog on Saturday. I'm actually just parked outside the lab. I need to go and get some readings for the bioassay that I had set up this week. Yes, it's a Saturday. Yes, I'm in the lab. Does this happen every week? No. Do I have to do it this week? Yes, but it's all good. I'm going to play squash afterwards and then I'm going home to enjoy my weekend finally. Thank you so much for watching and I'll see you in my next video. Bye!